we're going to hold the same meeting with the same people every week and expect different results. <laughs> so it's not an accident that following each of those disasters that I listed earlier, um, the same conditions arose. And that's largely because we've been investing time, energy, and money in the same kinds of initiatives, which are generally those that promote individual preparedness, which is certainly a good thing. However, for older people, that's not the only piece of the puzzle, because there are a lot of older people for whom individual preparedness is very difficult, actually. It's difficult to obtain all of the recommended supplies. Um, mm -hmm. People who have mobility impairment may not be able to get out and get them. I mean, if anyone's ever been to a supermarket, like a day or two days before a disaster in New York City, I mean, it is survival of the fittest. <laughs> and everyone is looking to hoard whatever they can for their own personal use and the use of their families, right? And so like, if you get there a little late, all the bread is gone, all the water is gone. Um, and so that's basically the approach we've been taking. We've been trying to educate older people as to what they should have in their homes and what they should, um, you know, what they, what they will need. Um, but it hasn't actually been all that effective in that we keep seeing the same conditions. So what is required is what the Municipal Arts Society terms an all hands on deck approach, 